We're going to talk about cultural artifacts, um, books, photographs, cinema. All these things in their digital form have become dematerialized. They have no longer take up space. Um, at the same time, they've become detemporalized. They're freed from time. They become pure data. They become an abstraction. They almost don't even exist. Um, and um, they have no mass and no duration. So what, what is a movie with no duration? This is uh, a single image of 180 minutes of one film. So this was, uh, okay, this is Barbarella, 1967. Um, the Passion of Joan of Arc, 1927. 2001, A Space Odyssey, 1968. Faust, 1926. Russian Ark, uh, 2001. So if we think of a movie as a data set, which we can do, um, we can analyze every single shot. So this is a sorting of all the shots of The Wizard of Oz, from brightest to darkest, or fastest to slowest. Here's the brightest shot and the darkest shot. Selecting the brightest shot, selecting the darkest shot. Um, or here's the fastest moving shot, and here's the slowest moving shot. So this becomes a data space that we can explore. So the brightest stuff goes up, the darkest stuff goes down, fastest to the right, slowest to the left, longest to the front, shortest to the back. And given this data space, we can ask questions of it. So we can say, uh, what are the 33 brightest shots of the 1951 Japanese film Tokyo Story? And this would be a answer. Um, it's important to note that this isn't a, a quantitative answer. This is a qualitative answer. The, our, our inquiry is not for, it's not a scientific empirical inquiry. This is a critical perspective. And what we want to get is a dialogue. Now, the German films of the 1920s, such as Metropolis or Faust, are just crying for some sort of dialogue. They're so rich and so technologically advanced uh, there was an optical printing system developed in 1924 by a cinematographer called Eugen Schuftan, and my research has been involved in his films. Currently, we tend to be seduced by technology. 
We tend to be seduced by technology for what it seems to offer us for the future. Wouldn't it be interesting if what it really had to offer for us was a new dialogue with the past? Thanks. <laughs>